For Suzanne Bruner, who's here as well. And Suzanne, I think a lot of people have this question. Legally, why was this guy allowed to even be in the hospital at this point. Right. So what we do know this morning is that Nestor Hernandez uh, was released on parole about a year ago on October 20th, and he was wearing an ankle monitor at the time of the shooting. And like Sonia said, the Texas Department of Criminal Justice confirmed that he was granted permission to be here at the hospital with his girlfriend during the birth of her child. Now, we did get a chance to look through his criminal history, and here's what we were able to find. So in 2009, Hernandez appeared in court for assaulting a public servant. He has a robbery conviction from 2012. And in 2015, he took a plea deal on an aggravated robbery charge. He was given eight years in prison for pleading guilty. In a tweet, Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia called Saturday's shooting a tragedy and a failure of our criminal justice system. Authorities have not released the names of the hospital workers killed, but we do know the victims were a social worker and a nurse. A fellow nurse had this to say about her friend. She was a great, caring nurse who loved her job. She loved her daughters and grandbabies. She recently renovated her house and was looking forward to retirement. As you can imagine, safety has been on top of mind. And this morning, hospital staff and visitors are asking for metal detectors and for increased uh, stricter gun laws that is inside hospitals. We do know that Methodist Dallas has said that they are going to be increasing security here on campus as well as offer active shooter training for all staff. Sonia. Uh, all right, Suzanne, thank you so much for those details. Uh, I know we're going to continue to follow this story and we'll certainly bring you the latest both on WFAA.com as well as uh, on TV. And, uh, you know, it's just a tragedy that uh, a lot of people at this point are trying to wrap their heads around. Guys, back to you.